Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. We're, we're in a computer. Please, please help. Please send someone to get us. Um, oh, uh, Ian, I don't think I've ever shown you this, but underneath, let me see if I can do this. Underneath your brain. Yes. It's a dog. <laughs> what is that from? It's from this game called Homeland, which is also where the uh, smashing troll next to me is from. <laughs> Oh my god. Literally the CD had like everything exposed, so I just use it for dumb stuff now. <laughs> That's great stuff. Pretty good. Um, Ian, I have one question for you. Yes. And I hate to start the stream off this way. But did you acquire a new video card today? <laughs> okay, here's the thing, right? So <laughs> they went live today. <laughs> I stayed up until midnight last night because, uh, first of all, I didn't see the tweets until about 11 o'clock last night. There was a tweet from Newegg and a tweet and like a Reddit post from a NVIDIA community director basically saying it's supposed to go live at 9 a.m. today. I didn't see those till like 1130 at night. And I was like, that's fine. I'll stay up the extra 30 minutes and see if anybody goes live at midnight on accident. Gotcha. Nobody did. So then I went to bed. So I woke up, got my breakfast, got everything going. 9 p.m., 9 a.m. rolls around and I've got. Newegg, B and H photo and video, Micro Center, Amazon, and NVIDIA website, or the NVIDIA store basically, on refresh. And I was going for the Founders Edition. I didn't want any of the aftermarket ones. And um, Best Buy, in between refreshes, went from coming soon to out of stock. The wow. NVIDIA website never showed it in stock. They actually showed it, they're still showing it as notify me, which means like it's not out yet until I found out that they didn't, they never even updated that page. They updated a different page and I went to the different page and it was out of stock and other people were saying they never saw it in stock there either. B&H just flat out crashed. That website was down. <laughs> and um, Newegg, actually I saw cards on Newegg and Amazon, but they were aftermarket, so I didn't pick them up, which I'm fine with. Um, so long story short, no. And I'm a little pissed because <laughs> oh, I've been following Twitter. I've been following Reddit. I've only seen one person post a screenshot of them actually getting a card. Like, like the order confirmation. And then there was an article that came out. I forget who did it, but it was an article basically saying like, hey, there's this company that makes bots for people. And they made a bot for the, for the 3080. And their Twitter account is just now full of all these people posting like, hey, thanks, bot. I got 40 of these cards this morning. So it was literally the truth that it was scalpers using bots that bought all the cards this morning. It was ridiculous. Either. Anyways, no, I did not. I didn't, I, I didn't get a PS5 because who, who, who? Yeah, who, I don't care. PG-13. PG-13. I'm not getting a PS5. All right. Sorry, I was trying to figure um, out. I'm dropping a crazy amount by of By the way, um, just to let you know, Walmart.com is down because PS5 pre-orders just went yeah. live there. <laughs> the entire website's down. Yeah. I love it. Um, I don't know why I'm dropping so many crazy. Frames. My internet's going crazy right now. Tell Karen to stop watching octopus YouTube. porn. Yeah, I will tell her that. I'm going to uh, do your favorite. I'm going to eat dinner on stream. Thank you. I love when you do that. I wonder if it can't possibly. Anyways, folks, we will be talking about the PlayStation 5. But first, we got to get going in this game. First, we got to play some City of Heroes. So I made a character just to test this game out. We're going to make another character, but this is Server Quest. Um, he is hey, real infinitely quick. on a quest. Can you just can you look at my video real quick? Your video. Yes, I'm looking. Yeah, at you. OK. This is a perfect example. I love my monitor, but there is a problem with having a 32 inch monitor. This is Chrome open and my face is blown out. This is Chrome minimized and now my face is too dark. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so good. <laughs> it sucks. Anyways, oh, um, you can continue. Okay. So uh, we're going to create a new character here. Hopefully this drop frames eases off. Um, I don't know Just pick them up. Yeah, let me pick up all these drop frames. Uh, okay, I think we're doing this one. Okay. Me, uh, First I'll question check here. Um, science, mutation, magic, technology, or natural? Oh, it's the origin of the powers. Origin of my powers. Science and technology. Same thing, folks. 
Well, you know right? What, my, what, is the, what is the description for them? My drop frames are going down. I literally think it was that menu screen that was causing it. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, yes, I had the same exact thing. But science means through an experiment. Technology means you're smart. Oh, so that's like so Bruce like Banner versus Iron Man. Iron Man. Okay, let's do natural. I like the idea of natural. Natural birth? Yeah, me too. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Can you go back? That's crap. I thought it was going to be, for some reason, I read it as like something oh. natural, but superhuman, but it's really just like Black Widow. You want to do magic Or like then? Hawkeye. Mystical and divine forces? No, let's do science. Science. Okay. Um, I want to see what kind of so like. So there's an enter your name you here, but you get to do it at the end. So I figure we name them at the end. Yes. Unless you want to name them now, and we get like an idea. No, let's get an idea and then name them. Okay. So next we got tank, melee damage, ranged damage, crowd control, support, and pets. Which I don't want to be pets. Mm. It's stupid. <laughs> I like. Wait, is is pets? You are controlling the pets, or you are the pet? Okay. I think you're controlling pets, but. I like crowd controller tank. Tank, good damage mitigation, meant to soak up. You know what? I, I'm sorry. I got I got to pull a producer's card here. Will you're you're. We are always bad at these games because we don't know what's happening. So we should really be the tank. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were gonna. I thought I did something horribly wrong with the stream. No. no. I'm gonna pull check. a producer's card, but you need to put clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, do I want to be a tanker, a peace bringer, war shade, or a brute? Mm. Oh, there's little things. I'm thinking. You know, let's go. What's war shade? That's let's disgusting. Just, let's just let's do tanker. Go to that tanker. Seems like... Tanker. You should be a tanker tank. <laughs> I'm a twinker tank. Um. Okay. Do we want? I'm a middle. <laughs> it means I only have threesomes. <laughs> a middle. Oh, that's very good. That's so pretentious. Oh, uh, that's like a good sketch character. Um, yeah, I'm. A, I'm sorry. I'm. I'm only a middle. <laughs> I just. I have too much love to give to a single person. <laughs> I just have but, so much energy. <laughs> but they don't do foursomes because then they can't be in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Um, only only odd numbers. Man, what's that called? The mean? <laughs> I'm a median. <laughs> I'm not a mean. <laughs> not the average. Okay. Um, ice armor. That seems kind of cool. Or frost. That's what they call me. Stone. Willpower. High pain tolerance. I do not have that power. Oh, I kind of like willpower. Was that what it was? Yeah, you want was willpower? willpower the pain tolerance? High pain tolerance. Here we go. I like acting you know, like you actually don't have superpowers. It's just that you're just gritting your teeth the whole time. You're like those people you. who are born without pain receptors, so they like bite their hands oh. off. No, see that makes sense. I'm just thinking about it like you're the, just the type of person who, rather than say something, <laughs> you're just kind of like it's okay. I'm okay, guys. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm the, uh, uh, who's the guy who plays Scott Pilgrim? Uh, Michael Cena. Yeah, I'm Michael, I'm a Michael Sarah of <laughs> superheroes. I just don't say anything. <laughs> um, no, I'm fine. I'm fine, you know? Mm. Okay, mm. um, Ice Melee. Oh, man, Saps, Staff Fighting. War Mace, Street Justice. <laughs> what does that mean? Do I break dance? Oh, how many power sets do you get to choose? Uh, you get two, oh, like, two. primary and secondary, and then you add as you level up and stuff. Okay. Can you do a slow scroll through them? Yeah. I gotta think of what goes with willpower. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Yep. Uh-huh. Um, I, I kind of like... It's not going to be super flashy for the screen, but I kind of like melee. Just straight melee? You don't like titan weapons? Actually, yeah, let's do titan weapons. Okay. Defensive sweep. That's our only option. Okay. Now we can make can, small Can you boy? be a very... Yeah, I think you should be the smallest boy possible. Smallest, smallest skinny boy or smallest thick boy? 
smallest skinny boy. Okay. Height? Oh. Four feet. Oh. I'm really liking this. If you max it out, what does, it, does it go up to eight feet? Oh, that's just... Yeah, I think I can be pretty tall. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, let's go four feet. I like the idea of a little tiny guy that's a tank, and he's just biting his teeth. <laughs> well, so like, I was going to say, do teeth. you want to be super short and muscular? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe. I think it's the, it's the tiny head that sells me on that. <laughs> Bring my chest in. Hips out. Legs down. Yeah, There's look at this little game stone, boy. Something I was playing the other day that had a character creator. And it reminded me of us making our Bloodborne characters. I mean, my Bloodborne character. Oh, that was good stuff. Okay. <laughs> He's hideous. Okay, there are a lot of options here. Is there a randomize? Oh, there is a random. Yeah. Oh, we hit it. <laughs> I think we did too. Yeah. Look at that. That is a lot of options. You weren't wrong. Oh. Oh man, I wish I wish I could. Oh, there is a previous. That's oh, that's cool. nice. So we can just keep previousing to the ones we like. Yeah. Eh. Test the previous button. Oh, it changes the color, oh, just... so that's okay. Yeah, I think I know what his name is. Oh no! Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of customization. I love this, dude. There's. Oh, wow. Wolf boy. Why does he keep giving me bear heads? Look at these feet. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is pretty good. Got a little taily tail, too. The dope mantle. How far back can I go? Oh, you can go. You can just keep going back. Oh. That's oh, that's a good one. Look at the hook. That's hand. pretty good. <gasps> Look at little wings. Wait, did you choose hero or villain? I think I'm a hero. That's weird. Yeah. Looking like a villain, boy. These are looking like. Maybe I did choose villain. Are they not paying attention? Uh, I don't know. Origin. No, I did City of Hero. Okay, let's do a couple. What about orb head? Uh, that's pretty good. I like that. Okay, so we can go in here. So I can change. Oh, that's. <gasps> I think with the eyes. Yeah. Yes. And then close jaw open. I think no jaw, right? I think no jaw. Okay. Then. Making a metal base, we can make it blades. Put some blades behind it. Um, okay. So we can adjust. Let's do darken. Oh. Bone is blowing up. Okay. And then we can change colors over here. This more like a skin color. So I'm just looking at the history here. This is City of Heroes, developed by Cryptic Studios, published by NC Soft. Came out on April 28th, 2004. Last day of services on November 30th, 2012. That's a solid, solid eight years. City of Hero came out. Oh, sorry, City of Villains. Which they end up combining with this. Oh, it was a separate game? Yeah. Kind of crazy. Oh, my path aura was... Oh, oh, City of Villains came out, looks like a year later. Um, Cryptic Studios. Still around. It's in Los Gatos, California. They are known for City of Heroes slash Villains, Champions Online, 
which I believe later became... It's pretty much the same thing. Wait. This, according to this, Champions Online is still up. Yeah, I, th I think it is, yeah. And it's free to play. Um, question. What do you think of this beautiful yes. boy? Oh, that's it. I think that's it. Ship it. Okay. Um... Oh, they also did Star Trek Online. Yeah, and Neverwinter as well. Yes, and Neverwinter and... Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. There is also... Magic the Gathering, also known as Magic Legends, which is the upcoming Magic the Gathering MMORPG. Oh. By Cryptic Studios. I mean, that, that makes me feel better. It feels like there's a lot of... Um... The studio has a lot of good MMO pedigree. Yeah, and then um, who bought them? I uh, can't think of the name. I just read it like 20 minutes ago. Um, Perfect World. Yes, and they run a bunch of different stuff now. Oh, um, yeah, they run a bunch of MMOs. So before we continue... Yes. Character name. Um, I know you want to do Kelsor, but no, I I'm, think I'm it open. should be Thick Zor. Thick with two Zor. T's. Thixor like that, or with a dash? Hyphen. I th I th I think like that. Thixor, okay. Um, or maybe with a maybe with an apostrophe. Oh, you know, like uh, like he's pulling on. That's it. I think that's it. Right. I just had a weird thought. I was like, do Klingons have commas? They they seem too stupid. Uh, this is my battle cry, uh, twitch.tv slash subpixel, and uh, character description, subpixelfilms.com. Uh, subpixel team, please. Thank you. Is it subpixel team? Yeah. For the Twitch? Oh. We're, you know, you're Yeah, right. we're subpixel team on all our socials. I know. Sometimes I forget. Uh, see, the YouTube, isn't the YouTube just subpixel? Yes, I believe so. Oh, will I be a hero or a villain? I, you know, it's funny if you're a hero like that, but you are built like a villain. So, I have a tail. I just realized that. Uh, you know, I'll try the villain. Okay. Headed to Mercy Island. You have arrived at Mercy Isle. If you want to work with. Those? Are those guys doing hands up, don't shoot? Yeah. Uh, the dance, though. Report to Operative oh. Kuzmin. If you're a dance? destined one, contact. Okay, let's see. First F10. Yes, it works. What's up, boys? Oh, I forgot I was a tiny boy. <laughs> I know. When you came up to him, I was like, I was like, why are you so far away? <laughs> Wait, let me go use this normally sized phone. <laughs> oh, wow. I love that my tail sticks through. And my if giant... I remember correctly, you're less than four feet tall. Arbiter, turning to a new level of power. I need 106 more XP. Okay. Man, the tutorial I should have done because it gives you so much XP. Oh, these people. So did you ever play this game when it first came out? No, I, I had a friend I went to uh, school with. His brother played it a bunch. Man, I'm dropping frames all over the place again. What's doing it? Uh, let, me, let me check stream. Let me try switching it to uh, not window. Sometimes. You know, if things get really, really bad, we can, we can drop Parsec and I can just watch off stream. Usually going to uh, full screen negates it it doesn't it doesn't look that bad yeah yeah doing full screen got rid of it anyway okay ask about available mission i want to stay in rogue isle thick zor i forgot that's my name <laughs> there's <laughs> one thing you need to learn right away Ar arachnos can be your ally or your enemy support us serve us and we will reward you stab us in the back and it'll be your last move 
Um, I want you to take him out. Take out Burke. Hey, I should do a spotlight video about, or you should do a spotlight video about what. Okay, what does the next great MMO look like? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I'm going to put that down. Because it's kind of like the next gen open world thing where it's just like, let your ideas be crazy. But the MMO genre hasn't really changed a whole lot except for like the whole free to play type stuff in a way. Bum, 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 ba, na, na, na. Oh, yeah, I'm getting in a spaceship. City of villains. Oh, you know what? In that spotlight, we could shout out server request as well. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. No. I just realized the stream was still seeing the old thing. Sorry, stream. Sorry, you were crashing. Okay, it should be... Okay, now. We're good. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, you know what? It's a little... This is a good overlay, buddy. Thanks. I, I want to... Tell me my daddy likey. Very actually kind of proud of it. Where am I going? Captures. I, um... What was I going to say? There we go. I've been thinking about ways we can spice up the stream. How do you feel about scene transitions? I noticed Kyle used them last night. Yeah. And I'm I on the fence. I meant to ask him where he got those, because they look like some pre-rendered ones. Like the ones you would get off, like, yeah. Nevada or something. Um, and you can you can build them as well in, like, in like After Effects. They're pretty easy to yeah, import yeah. into uh, OBS. I have a bunch from uh, that I've made over the years. But yeah, I was just trying to think of... I, I think I would only like them if they're custom and they're if they fit to our overlay. But yeah. then I was trying to think of what the what is the transition action. I, I always like the idea of like the camera's full screen and then it over like half a second it just zooms down and squishes into the corner. You know, something like that. Yeah. Uh, are you watching? Which chat is possible. Online? Yes. Okay. Cool. Hi, chat. Thanks for joining. Uh, um. And. You know what? I'm gonna go back and talk to you. That's a cool look vehicle. Really? Let me in. Would you be a hero or a villain if you lived in a comic book universe? Um I think I'd it'd be fun to be like a comical villain, but I I don't mm -hmm. think I could do actual bad things. Like yeah. I would do like Joker I I guess like comic book Joker villainy where it's like just inconveniencing people or like taking down the banks or burning yeah. money. But I, I don't think I could, like, endanger people's lives. See, I, I feel like I'm... stomach for it. I feel like I'm always on the cusp of, like, being a full-time asshole. So... That's true. I could be a villain. <laughs> I could be a villain. Panhandler? Should have talked to the panhandler. I'm trying to think of what my, what my villainous scheme would be. Let me talk to I Arnold. think I would blackmail people. I think I would buy a lot of data. I would somehow track a bunch of people. I've figured out how to track everybody. Get all their secrets and then blackmail them. And then use that for power. That's pretty good. Okay, this lady. Oh, yeah. It's great. You can just complete the mission because it's like, hey... Just complete the mission because there might have been a glitch or something. Which oh, I really, really? kind of like that system, but clearly. Wait I a minute, it. wait a minute. Clearly, I have can abused you... it. Yeah, can you speed level? I mean, probably. Ask about available missions. Jump down the snake hole. Complete the mission. Oh, I've reached the maximum amount of auto complete. Okay, that's good they do that. Uh, yeah. yeah. I want to find this other guy they were talking about. 
So, um, we should probably talk about the PlayStation 5. Yeah, screw that thing. Um, so they had a pretty good press conference the other day. Um, basically, this was what? What was this? Wednesday? This was yesterday. Yes. Yeah. Yesterday, 4 p.m., um, basically, uh, they showed off a bunch of stuff. They started out with Final Fantasy 16. Uh, what did you think about that? Um, it's kind of crazy that they're making Final Fantasy 16. I don't think it's crazy at all. Uh, <laughs> well, it's so close to, I mean, it's not that close to 15, but. Eight. Well, I could see it either way, because 15 took a long time. But they've also whipped them out before. So. Um, I, I don't think it looked that good, because I, I... Did you play 15? Um, no, I didn't. Um, I, I played it for, like, four or five hours. The story was actually interesting, but the combat was not that good, or at least it was, like off-putting enough that you couldn't really get into the depths of it mm -hmm. easily. Um, and it was open world, but you traveled between areas with a car that was basically just auto-driving, and then all the side quests were just like, hey, go over here and fetch this for me, or hey, go over here and kill two guys and then come back to me. And it was just not, it was not a good open world game at yeah. all. So, I've heard great things about the story. I watched the Final Fantasy XV movie, which was actually kind of good. And other than that, it wasn't that great. And this this game looks similar to it. The only thing that, that has my interest peaked is it has the same creative director, producer, whatever you want to call it. The, the guy at the helm is the same guy who came in and saved Final Fantasy XIV, which was an MMO that had a terrible launch, but then was recovered under this guy's leadership. Um, yeah, he's the one creating 16. My buddy who I watched the reveal with, uh, Chris, was saying that he's a big Final Fantasy person. Uh, and he was saying, because the whole th time he was like, this can't be the next Final Fantasy because it's a different engine. He's like, what? And then as soon as it announced it, he was like, oh, it's the Final Fantasy 14 engine with that guy. Like, it's not based oh. off of the 15 engine. Because That's kind of weird. And then I yeah. saw a press release saying... They're focusing on Final Fantasy this time, not graphic fidelity, which is what 15 was kind of all about. That's good that they're focusing on gameplay rather than um, engine. That's good. And he said it was yeah, kind of so, weird that they had announced it mm -hmm. at, like all of a sudden, but it kind of makes sense. Yeah. And, and, you know, Final Fantasy 15 came out in um, 2016. So if they bring this out next year, that's a five year window killing a co-op and 15 did so well that i the, there were a lot of rumors and we saw a lot of the semi-confirmation of these rumors that they were just that 15 went right into that they went into heavy development of a bunch of different final fantasy stuff after 15 yeah and we saw that they had like dlc come out they had different ports come out they had like a mobile version they had all, all sorts of different stuff come out um so it's probably been in in production since then would be my guess anyways that's good news for final fantasy fans uh means bump gets to me uh yeah. spider-man miles morales they showed some gameplay uh what did you think about that i think it's gonna look great on my playstation 4 exactly i i feel like you know i feel like what they were really showing that looked good was miles morales the new character new story more of spider-man but it didn't really sell as a next-gen title because it looked very similar. Maybe we just a little bit spiffier with the effects than the PlayStation 4 version. And then af afterwards, they announced it's also coming to the PS4. So it's like, great, I'm probably going to buy that game. I don't know if I'm going to buy it at launch because it is 50 bucks, and they haven't really been clear about what exactly is in that game. You know, <laughs> Is it a full game or is it not? They still are not clear about that, and that $50 price point is still kind of making it up in the air. Yeah. But... Um, yeah, that should be good. Also, Hogwarts Legacy, which is the long-rumored Harry Potter game uh, that takes place in the 1800s. We saw some footage years ago that leaked out of 
uh, like a um, flavor test room. Is that what it's called? That's not what it's called. <laughs> um, oh, focus man. test. Focus. Oh, test. I got close. I got close to it. Flavor um, test. Okay, what did you think about this one? Give me your reactions. I, I think it looked pretty good. Um, I, I didn't look up anything after it, but my friend was he was Chris kept pointing out he's like okay they're not showing a main character which makes me think all these people are create a character like you yes. made these people so that's pretty exciting um as someone who just played five different versions of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone I think a pretty good Harry Potter RPG open world game would be fun actually that mm -hmm. that Minecraft mod the Wizards and Witchcraft Wizardry and Witchcraft yeah. mod May, is that the first cool. what got me like oh man a harry potter thing it's just so much unexplored territory outside the yeah. movies at least video game wise so I, i'm i'm looking forward uh, to it i um i think they have since confirmed that it's open world you create your own wizard it's during the 1800s you know you you learn and customize spells it has a lot of customization it's basically an rpg my number one thing that i don't like about it and I, I don't think it was like this in the original footage, or maybe just the original footage was too grainy for me to realize it. They're going for a pretty realistic look for it. Mm. Like, did you notice the, the people in it? They look like real people. And I'm not a fan of that. I want it to be, I, I don't want it to be full cartoon, but I want it to be a little cartoonish. I'm trying to think of an example. I thought that it, it looked a little cartoony. It didn't look super real tiny bit but I, but I was thinking like more mostly about like the people's faces they looked very realistic true i can see well i, I don't want to say realistic they looked styled after the real world i'm trying to think of an example of what i want them to look like and i can't think of one i just yeah. need to be slightly more cartoonish a little bit more fantasy looking it looks like real people larping you know, it's like there's not enough fantasy. Just realized I, it also wasn't showing my thing again. What thing? Every time I click back on the game, it pauses the game for the stream. Oh, that's weird. Um, well, do you want to drop it out of full screen? All right, let me just try doing a window capture or a game capture rather than a window. So glad we don't have anybody watching right now. Um, this is a good. This is a good example, though. I it's a good good opportunity for me to think of an example. Oh, Death Loop. So they showed a little bit of Death Loop, but before we talk about that, Death Loop has like a, a stylized version of real world people, right? I yeah. want Harry Potter to look more like Death Loop, in terms of character faces. You know, a little bit more towards character caricature gotcha I than see realism that. okay stream should be good and th that was my problem with hogwarts legacy the people look too real and i'm not a fan of that i need more fantasy it's also the problem i had with uh dragon age uh inquisition well i never even played it are you killing a police officer hey good for you I that's am. i think i'm about to die you totally are oh oh i leveled up and got all my health back Oh, nice. Um, yeah, so I think it's it's like with Dragon Age Inquisition where it's supposed to be a fantasy world, but everybody is like super realistic looking in their faces. And it's like, I don't need that. I don't need realism in my fantasy. Yeah. And I, I'm worried that's going to be enough to put me off the game. But uh, let's see. Uh, I'll see what happens a little bit more. It's, it's, it's definitely a little tiny. I feel like it's one of those complaints I have that is maybe... 15% legitimate. 85% BS. But it's just enough for me to yeah, not watch it. I get you. Demon Souls remake. That guy vaulted over that thing. It was weird. I know you're excited for Demon Souls, aren't you? I'm very excited. I've always wanted to play it. Um and I thought the remake would mm -hmm. be a good opportunity for it if it were coming to I'm PC. excited. I'm excited to play it on PC when it eventually comes there. Uh <laughs> So just to, in case you weren't following it, basically Demon Souls in the, I, I don't know if it was during the press conference or if it was afterwards, but there was an image. It said Demon Souls PlayStation 
ex it said PlayStation console exclusive, and then at the bottom it also said also available on other consoles and PC. And then they had to pull the trailer, edit that out, and then issue a correction through Kotaku like an hour later saying, no, it's a PS5 only game. So I, I wonder if it's similar to, um, that game is not a PS5 only game. I'm putting money on it. I think it's like Death Stranding. You remember when Death Stranding, before Death Stranding came out and there was some promotional stuff that said PC or had the Steam logo on well, it? Well, Kojima had said And they took... He said his next game is he... coming to PC. Oh, yeah, yeah. But there was also... Yeah. There was a an image that had the Steam logo on it, and they walked it back. And then it ended up coming out. My, my only thing is Sony... Sony owns Demon Souls 100%. They do? But, yeah. That's why it's only was only ever on the PS3. That's why From Software had to make Dark Souls in order to have it other places. That's oh, they do. Yeah, they own the they own the rights to Demon Souls. Yeah, IP. that's why they're detached. But I'm not saying that PC. Sony can't now bring it to PC because they are bringing yeah. their games to PC. Yes. Um, I just mean From um, Software has no say in that. Yeah. Really. Uh, another game that was showed was more of Deathloop. Um, I'm really excited by Deathloop. I feel like that trailer was a really really good showcase of what that game is about it made me want to play uh that game called dishonored it's like this looks like really good like 70s Dishonored. yeah, yeah. and it, it i i was really blown away when they started showing they were basically telling a story in a way with the trailer and they were like oh look in this loop i can kill this guy but i have to kill four other people at the same time and i can't do that there's not enough time but if i go back earlier in the day and change things around so that I can get two characters in the same place at the same time later, then I can kill two people in the same loop. And um, like the example they, they gave was one of the guys you need to, one of your targets is at a party. Another target is supposed to show up, but he cancels on the party because he's busy working on his science project because he had a breakthrough that morning. So you go to the morning, you sabotage the breakthrough so it never happens. And the guy doesn't miss the party. He goes to the party. And that changes the later parts of the loop. And that's crazy good. I, I think if they implement that properly, where it's kind of like Hitman, where each character has like, you know, four, five, six, seven different branching paths, and you and you get to choose how to manipulate them, as opposed to it being like, you know, hey, this person, if you do this thing to this person, and that's your only option, then everything's going to work. You know, I, I feel like if as long as they keep it open, as long as they give you room to play, I think it's going to be fantastic. So I can't wait to play that on PC. Yeah. Um, finally, well, sorry, not finally. I've got a couple more pieces of news. Sony revealed PlayStation Plus collection, which is Every access PS4 to a game. library of the PS4's best games available to PlayStation Plus subscribers who are on the PS5. And games including God of War, Days Gone, Persona 5, Monster Hunter World, and Resident Evil 7 and more. Um, what do you think about this? I think it's very exciting. Uh, I think it's... I, I think... Okay, pardon me. Look, I, I think I've come to terms with that. I'm a bit of a Microsoft fanboy, and I really love Game Pass, and this just seems like a cheap imitation of it, especially since they're only offering it to PlayStation 5 players, which is... That's some BS. If you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber, you can't play these PS4 games on your PS4. You can only play these PS4 games on your PS5. That's crap. But I think it's great for gamers, and I think it's Microsoft winning, in a way, by pushing the industry forward. They're doing something great with Game Pass, mm -hmm. and they're forcing Sony to do something similar. And the people who win in the end are the consumers. Yeah. So. I Good think stuff. I think it's great. Like when I say I think it's great, it, it's pretty much that that they're pushing this thing forward. That they're gonna have a way to yeah. have some sort of Game Pass thing. It also depends how many games are gonna end up being on that service. Like, will it be a better deal over time? I saw some people yeah. taking to Twitter saying that mm -hmm. it's gonna be a better deal than Xbox Game Pass because they're gonna have every single PS4 game. And That's they said not that. True whole claw like 
t- they they were saying that like yes that is what's happening <laughs> people are just like that no that's no. not what's it was like it was like, like yeah, 10 games they said 99 percent of the games are going to be on there i'm like that's not what that means no. Um, I know. That, that's a good point to bring up, though. Jim Ryan finally came out and gave a little bit more clarity to backwards compatibility and said 99% of PS4 games will be playable on a PS5. Yeah. Um, and I, Which is good. Initially, I was afraid that that PS5 service was what they were going to tout as their backwards compatibility. Oh, my God. That's, I was like, oh, I didn't even think of that. No. I didn't even think of that. But that's, that's a very good point. Because um, that not that basically what they say for... Can you buy PS2, PS3 games individually for the PS4? Um, I don't actually know. Or is it just PS Now? Where they say if you want backwards compatibility, you have to do PS Now. I'm not sure about that. But either way, I didn't even think of that scenario, but that that would be pretty crap. Yeah. So it's um, it's 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 interesting. It definitely feels like it is thrown together. It feels like it's thrown together at the last minute, especially in the way they present it, mm-hmm. as these games for PS5 players only available day one. And it's like, got it. Okay, so it's a direct response to Microsoft's Game Pass in full is available on the Xbox Series X day one. So I, I think it's good for gamers. Um, I think you're right, though, about you got to keep an eye on Sony. They are not good at implementing this stuff. So... This, this could be a great thing in the long term, or it could just be a launch thing where, you know, six, 12 months down the road, they, they kill it. And they say, nope, not worth it. Yeah, I, I, it's just, mm. it's just crazy it took them this long to try to combat Game Pass yes. at all. Like, I think well, in to, their to minds... Fair, PlayStation Now, they switched PlayStation Now from a streaming exclusive service to, to downloading. And a lot of those titles are now downloadable now. They just haven't done a good job of pivoting that properly, including it in, in PlayStation Plus, you know, bundling it like Xbox has with, with Game Pass Ultimate, or surfacing that to people. That that these titles are also downloadable now. Yeah. Oh, I died again. So I, I don't know. It's 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 good. We'll talk about this a little bit later, but it kind of firms up their 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 launch offering in a way what games they're offering for launch um let's talk about god Uh, of war sequel yeah so we saw a logo we heard some voiceover and we saw the number 2021 i know you're a big god of war fan so what's your reaction to this uh i'm excited i'm a big god of war 2018 fan i did not play the other ones i played one briefly so that was half, yeah. half a lie. I really liked the 2018 God of War. I thought it was fun. It was a good story. I'm also a sucker for um, Norse mythology, uh, mm-hmm. like all that sort of stuff. Um, I don't know. I, I really enjoyed the 2018 one. Uh, it kind of makes sense that this is coming out, what, three years later? Because they ha- didn't do any DLC. They must have just started hunkering down, working on it. Um, I'm excited. Sounds like a lot of fun. Um, as far as just being another one of those, um, I'll play mm-hmm. it. Hopefully they clean up some of the issues, which I can't even think of many issues with the first one. I think there was um, a little bit of frame rate. Combat yeah. wasn't great. It was kind of, kind of like visually bland. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm going into my personal complaints as opposed to objective problems with the game, but yeah. Um, um oh man, I thought that first game was gorgeous. Uh, but yeah, it's exciting. We'll, we'll, Santa Monica's good. We'll see what they do. Um, just crazy how fast that is. It'll definitely get me on board for a, a PS5 once a couple more big heavy hitters come out. Yes, yes. So they did say 2021, but Will, I'm going to tell you right now. It's not coming out in 2021. It's not going to so. happen. In order for it to come out in 2021, it means that you need to go gold sometime within the next... Let's call it 14 months. If your game is going to go gold in the next 14 months, you're going to show more than just a logo and some VO. That is the type of thing you show when that game is three, four, five years down the line, not 12 months away. So I don't know. That could be 
just being secretive about it. I mean, what's the what? fastest? But why? Get people to buy PS5s, maybe. But but at the same time, I think the only the only way that could be true. No, well, I don't want to say not the only way they could be true. The only way that could be a good idea is if they are hiding something big, big, big. You know, maybe they don't want to reveal the setting yet. I don't know. But at the same time, you're 12 months out. You know? If you think about Starfield, uh, which is Bethesda's next game, they announced pretty much the same way. They said it's called Starfield. Here's a logo. And uh, I think there was like a little bit of sound effects to it as well. And that game is like four or five years away. So yeah. it's it's weird. I, I'm, not, I'm just not buying the 2021 date because I don't see if you have that game coming out next year, why you wouldn't show more. But I also say if it wasn't going to come out next year or you weren't at least confident, why would you put the number? I think because Sony made you. I think because you got to sell consoles. And if you say 2022, people are going to say, oh, well, I'll buy a PS5 in 2022. Or I'll buy it next year. But if you say it's 2021, which is only three months away, people are going to go, oh, I need a PS5 now. I need it now. So I'm not saying there's deliberately lying. I'm just saying that date, the date does not match the contents of the trailer. I, um, you made me think not, not as a like counterpoint to your thing, because I think you make a good point. But I would like to know the A, the average... Tra initial trailer to release of a game and also the average mm -hmm. amount shown like what's the close like I always remember like the Fallout 4 one where they're like hey here's the reveal of Fallout 4 it's out in like five four months yeah and they and they had like a 25 minute video of it yeah, yeah. So I wonder what um, like the the biggest yeah, one of those is I'm, I'm thinking like the opposite which is like Dragon Age, the, the sequel to Dragon Age Inquisition, when they revealed that, what was that, two years ago? It was the same thing. You know? The same content as what the God of War trailer was. Yeah. And they didn't put a date on it. And when they came out, they were saying, like, years down the road, etc. Same with Starfield, etc. And it's like... I just... I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand why you wouldn't, you know, show off your game a bit if it's coming out next year. Anyways. Um... The big news, right at the end, the release date and the price. The release date, November 12th, which is a Thursday. It's two days after the Xbox Series XS. XS. <gasps> DCYP is asking, are you running Windows 2000? Hell yeah. Uh, I actually think this is Windows 95, but it's just an overlay. Oh, yeah, it um, looks like 95. So that release date, people were... The fact that it's split, people think that was Sony reacting to Microsoft release. The release date? Like, they moved as many territories as they could closer to the 10th and had to oh, that's right farther away. Because is it... Is it uh, this this one doesn't have it, but is it, the, is it a week later? Is it the 19th? Yeah, it's the 12th and the 19th. Okay. That, that makes, actually, I, I kind of buy that. That basically they were playing on the 19th. Microsoft came out on the 10th and they said, let's move as many forward as and many. all of Europe is the 19th. There's no, no Europe Wow. until then. Yeah, because I think it's like Three. Japan, US, Canada on the 12th. And New Zealand, I think, too. Because that's the other thing is there was some news that came out last week that, um, that Sony is spending a lot of money on air freight to get these consoles to the US. Uh, typically, you ship these by by ship, yeah. uh, which takes longer. But they're spending a lot of money on air freight to basically load up a bunch of air cargo with these consoles to get them here sooner. Um, so that I, that kind of jives as well with them trying to move up the date. Yeah. But the prices, the standard version with the disc drive is four ninety nine. The all digital version without the disc drive is three ninety nine. I'm very four ninety nine. Not surprised at all by. Three ninety nine. I'm surprised. I thought they Me were too. going for four fifty. They. I, t I tell you what, man. Those reports saying that they were struggling to get it to five hundred dollars. They. They're taking a big hit on that for on that all digital. But yeah, I think it'll pay off because because that means with the digital version that means you are making a thirty percent cut on every single game sale from that point forward. Yeah. It's, it's so uh, crazy. 
Yeah, poor, poor game stop. <laughs> yeah. Um, what, yeah. What's your feelings on an all digital console? I, I only don't like it because, uh, as someone who still buys physical stuff, like if they're if they ever announce more backwards compatibility and stuff, I'm like crap out of luck. Um, yep. So I, I tend to always go for the disc drive, um, which I know is annoying and. It, it's tough too because it's harder to stomach a hundred dollar difference than a fifty dollar difference. So it'll be when it comes time for me to buy one, it will be interesting to see what I end up settling for. Yeah, I I, I agree with you. I, I I can't bring myself to do digital because there's just not as many sales, digital sales as there are f for physical discs, either used or just going on crazy discounts. Um, borrowing games from people, backwards compatibility. I'm just not ready to go digital only yet. So, unless I have to. You know, I'm already digital only for my PC, but that's basically because you have to. Yeah, because... And the other annoying thing is... It's... The, the disk drive isn't even for playing the game. It's for putting the disk in, and then it's saying, oh, this is what I download. Yeah. It's like twice as annoying, because that's all yeah. it's doing. So frustrating. Yeah. So, um, are you going to be getting a PlayStation 5 at launch? Um, no, not at launch. No, no, no. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so either. You know what? Before we do that question, though, let's talk about the PS5 launch. As of two hours ago, these are the confirmed PS5 launch games. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Astro's Playroom, which is a pack-in, Demon's Souls, Destruction All-Stars, Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition, Fortnite, Marvel's, uh, sorry, Marvel's Spider-Man colon Miles Morales. <laughs> Spider-Man. And, <laughs> and Sackboy, A Big Adventure. Uh, they also have, this looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It looks like about 17 or 18 PlayStation Plus collection games. These are all PS4 big hits. Like we mentioned before, you know, Bloodborne, Days Gone, Batman, Arkham Knight, Uncharted 4, Until Dawn, Last of Us, Last Guardian, Monster Hunter World, etc. Um, available if you have the, the, the subscription. I gotta be honest with you, that's a... a, a the, it's like Demon's Souls. And... Well, Demon's Souls is the only... Demon... Okay, let's talk about exclusives at launch. Demon's Souls. Astro's Playroom. I don't know about Destruction All-Stars. I don't think that's an exclusive. Sackboy, big adventure. I thought that was on PS4. I, sorry, I can't do this because I don't have the information in front of me, but that is not a strong launch. What do you think? It's not. I mean, it's not enough to make me buy the console, even with Demon Souls. Yeah, I think it's a lot like I was not going to buy a Switch at launch, but Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild was on the console yeah. at launch. That was the only reason to buy it at launch. And I think Demon's Souls is like that for a lot of people. Well, okay, there's always gonna be people who buy stuff new, but let's talk about the people who are on the fence. I think it's only Demon's Souls that's pushing them over the edge. Maybe Miles Morales, just because they wanna play it on the PS5 instead of the PS4, but that game ran fine on a base PS4, so. Yeah, really did. Um, oh, yeah. But let's talk about the Xbox Series X yeah. slash S launch lineup. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Dirt 5, FIFA 21, Fortnite, Gears 5, Gears Tactics, Marvel's Avengers, NBA 2K21, Tetris Effect Connected, The Falconeer, Watch Dogs Legion, Yakuza, Like a Dragon. Well, why isn't Watch Dogs Legion on the PS5 one as well? Uh, I don't Anyways. Think... Watch Dogs Legion... I think... Yeah, I, th I think it comes right. out before. It comes out the end of October. Yeah. On current gen. So, other than the multi plats, I'm just trying to look at the things that are unique to the Xbox. Falconeer, which is a cute little indie game, but not really a console seller. Tetris Effect Connected. Okay, let's be honest. Tetris Effect was just cute Tetris. And yeah. this is just a like game of the year extended edition of cute Tetris. Not enough. Um 
Yakuza Like a Dragon, which is on the previous platforms, but is not on the PlayStation 5. At least not at launch. Yeah, there's just not a lot of there's not a lot of console sellers there, but they do have their counterpoint to the PlayStation Plus collection is Game Pass. Every single game you can play on the Xbox One today, you can play on an Xbox Series SX at launch. Um, so, you know, so let's go back to the PS5. You said you're not buying a PS5. When do you think you're going to get a PS5? Maybe next, next, next holiday. Okay. Unless, I, unless something really cool comes out that makes me want to mm -hmm. jump on it. Um, I just really have no reason to, because I, I play all my games on PC, and I only yeah. would buy a Sony console for an exclusive. Yeah, and the crazy thing is, they came out afterwards, and they said uh, Horizon and Miles Morales, Horizon 2 and Miles Morales, are going to be on the PS4 as well. Yeah. And that they are going to continue to support the PS4 for a couple years. So... Uh, it's kind of a crazy thing where I'm, I'm looking this up right now. I saw a list. If I'm not mistaken, the Xbox Series X S. I, I hate this. I hate it, Will. Hate what do you call too. that? Because because you don't say the PS, you don't say the PlayStation Five and digital. So why, why do I have to say Series it, X and S? It's just the the Xbox, which is stupid. But no, I think it's Xbox Series. Or Xbox. Yeah, it's, yeah, that too. Hey, can I just do a favor real quick? I just want to... Can I just can I just take a big old crap on your head real quick? Because when they announced the title, I said, I understand what they're trying to do, but it's only making things more confusing. And you said, no, it makes sense because they're setting up a series. So this is the X. And then, you know, later on, they just have to change the letter. And I'm like, yeah, but they started with the X, so it doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? I was right. They're, they've screwed it up already. It's like, where do you go after the after the S? What's next? The X2? The A? The, the Z? The W? The yeah. 1? The Xbox Series 1? I don't know. Should have just Anyways. done 720. It's like, I really appreciate what they were trying to do, but they screwed it so bad. Um, so the crazy thing is, let's, let's back up a little bit. Xbox basically came out and said, look, we're going to try to have exclusives, but it's not about having next-gen exclusives. It's about playing the games that you want to play on either the current gen or the next gen. We don't want a generational difference. PlayStation came out and said, we want a generational difference. This is a bunch of exclusive titles for the PlayStation 5. You will need to upgrade to play these games because it's next gen. And yet, and yet when you look at the list that has been announced so far, there are far more Xbox Series next gen exclusive titles then there are PlayStation 5 exclusive next-gen titles announced. Isn't that crazy? That is pretty crazy. They've reversed. And I, I, I gotta say, this is a failure on Sony's part, because the thing is, Xbox is not even trying to make next-gen exclusive titles, but some of them ended up being next-gen exclusive titles. Mm -hmm. You know, like Forza Motorsport 8 uh, and some other stuff. I think, like, uh, if I'm reading this list right, State of Decay 3, the medium... PlayStation is trying to put those next-gen exclusives in place, but then they have to backtrack on some of them, like Horizon 2 and Miles Morales, and they and they, they don't really have enough system sellers. So it's like, I mean, right now they have Demon Souls, and they have, in terms of like big hitter exclusives for next-gen, it's Demon Souls at launch, and it's God of War in the future, right? Mm -hmm. Is there anything else I'm missing that is... Ratchet and Clank... Oh, ripped a fart. Wow, I'm very surprised that is not a launch title. Now that I think about it. Yeah. And then That's surprising. Break the man's leg. Do it. Wow. You're a bad guy. Um question, uh, are you getting an Xbox Series X day one? Yes. Only if <laughs> I can get the all access program because if you're telling me i just have to pay 20 dollars more a month to get a brand new next gen console and i save 20 bucks at the end of the year and i'll have it for the full two years starting day one it's like why not yeah why not um why not? i am as well 
uh, mostly because I just want one. And also, uh, Karen's going to buy my uh, 1X. So. Oh, that's good. I was, I, I'm going to steal your idea, and I'm going to take my 1X, put it in the bedroom. Because there are definitely times where I want to game, but I don't want to go into the living room because Maggie's yeah. doing something or whatever. So knowing that Game Pass, I can just... Even even just digital titles like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, one plus two. Yeah, I'm sorry, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater three. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater equals three. I can play <laughs> on the, the Series X in the living room, or go to the bedroom and play it on the One X. So yeah. I'm I'm ready. Um, yeah. September twenty second, eleven a.m. Eastern. I will be pre-ordering it. I'll be at work. I'm nervous because number one, pre-orders have been a mess lately. Number two, they've said that like Walmart, Target, Amazon, and I think Best Buy as well, and Microsoft are going to offer the Xbox All Access program, which is the monthly payment. But it's like, how does that work? You know what I mean? Yeah, I believe it's like I know a, I like a charge account or something. Yeah, but it's just kind of weird because like I know you can buy subscription plans through Amazon. But how do you buy a subscription plan through Best Buy? Yeah. You know, does it show up as a normal item? Does it go in a different part of the website? So it's like, it's going to make that pre-order anxiety a little bit worse. Yeah. I, I, I don't think I'm going to do the subscription. Um, although I, I could. The, the savings, it's only 20, for the Series X, it's only 20 bucks over the life of the console. And I, I like, I have my game pass ultimate extended out like a year or two anyways uh, yeah so see my mine ends i think mine ends in like three weeks so i'm, I'm timing it almost perfectly but I, i'm hoping i can get a free one uh i'm gonna try my darndest to get one yeah um before i i just want to get this out of the way I, i'm actually enjoying this game which I've noticed a sign of me not us not talking about the game means I'm enjoying it because like Star Wars yeah. Galaxies I was confused and kept asking questions and stuff but this you know, kind of just playing it like I play WoW where I just chat or yeah. listen to things it's, and it seems really pretty modern bad. honestly yeah what a good time anyways I just want to get that out of the way um we can chat some more. Yes, I, I'm going to try and find this this PS5 versus Xbox Series X exclusives image because it's just bonkers. You know, I, I think in terms of hardware, I, I'm just going to say it. I think the two are pretty evenly matched, the Series X and the PS5. Yeah, I think they both have their strengths. Yes, and I think I think the holiday launch window, the strength of the holiday of the games coming out this holiday is almost completely multi-platform games. It's Assassin's Creed, it's Watch Dogs Legion, it's uh, Cyberpunk. Um, you know, it's it's not gonna be Demon Souls. It's not gonna be, I don't even know what the, it's, it's, well, it could be Yakuza Like a Dragon. Yeah, that, that could be a big good. game. I can't wait to play that. Man, That's gonna be fantastic. I know, we didn't touch on it, but that new Resident Evil I'm excited for. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. I'm never gonna play it. I'm terrified of it, but it looks good. I think I'm uh, I'm gonna play through seven. Uh, I, I made it about halfway through the first time, so I think I might start over. My friend wanted to watch me play it, so I might do that. Well, we're not gonna play it for Spooky Pixel, but just remember, we do have Spooky Pixel coming up. Oh, don't I know it? And I have a lot of ideas in my brain. Uh, for what? For uh, presentation. Oh, okay. Because I'm picking the games. No, no, I know you're picking the games. Um, yeah, I have some presentation ideas because I'll have access to more stuff and more space. Oh, yeah, yeah. And things. So, so I, I know it's, I know it's a little bit of a hassle, but I really do think we should do the GoPro because that first-person face cam is so good. Yeah, that's it's fine. Really good. Yeah. Actually, you know what? We should try. If it's easier. We should try just taking a webcam and taking our webcam and clipping that to the to the hat facing our face. Oh, that's true. That might be easy. Because the Go the GoPro is a hassle. Because I have the old one where it doesn't have a a view screen. You gotta like set it up. You set it up via Wi-Fi, basically. It's annoying. 
Gotcha. Yeah, I was I was looking through some stuff today because I, I might have my office set up by then to do like some cooler stuff out of there. So. Got it. I'm not. Oh, I don't want to die. Um. Oh, so you're taking your main PC to the office? No, I'm not taking my main. Hmm. Do you guys, do you guys want to buy my 1080 off me? You guys need a graphics card? Oh yeah, I might actually do that. Yeah, for now we're just gonna build one computer to stream stuff out of because he's gonna, he's gonna be streaming his around the monitor stuff there, and I'll I'll eventually start streaming most of my subpixel stuff out of there. Um, unless he wanted to do some joint stream stuff, just on like off hours. Um, yeah. So. <clears throat> and then I, the main reason uh, I got this place is uh, for like working on stuff. I wanted to set up an area where I can put like all my electronic stuff out, all my like model making stuff. Ooh, yeah. It also that way we're looking for a new place come April, and Karen brought up a good point that I don't have to necessarily look for a two bedroom to have a room for my dream setup and everything, because then I can yeah. just have it at the office. A good point. And it's dirt cheap, so kind of nice. Well, that's great. That's great. Yeah, because yeah. I model making, man. I I, I want to have a dedicated space. The problem is my guest bedroom. I have my office in there now, and I have a bunch of stuff in storage, but I still want to use it as a guest bedroom occasionally. So I can't I can't set up a table that is like a workstation. So basically all my model stuff has to be like easily collapsible and put away, which works for now. It just kind of becomes a little frustrating. Why did it oh, just wow. immediately blow up? How did you not die? <laughs> I'm the one who's supposed to set the bombs and they just went oh, off. Oh, wow. Okay, I gotta run this. Um, That's crazy. Yeah, it'll it'll be nice. I'm Man, I'm already going through Facebook Marketplace looking for some like sturdy wood tables for like building stuff on i want to do some like shelves and oh I mean, hey I mean, baby boy do you want some tables oh i'll take some tables my parents are moving and they're purging all their stuff including a lot of the furniture that we built up for the workshop oh. so like they have like a like a big like six person oval dining room table that they got for free yeah send me pics i'll, I'll take some yeah stuff. i'll send you pics yeah um, um Yes, yeah, so totally. plenty of stuff. Whiteboard and all this stuff. Oh, yeah, I'll bring you yeah. a whiteboard. I'll bring, bring you a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, because we're doing like a. I mean, I, I go over this if you want, but like a couch setup with a camera, a TV, all sorts of stuff. So it'd be fun. I'm excited. Nice to have a, a space to put my stuff that isn't a tiny apartment. Um, what am I doing? Yeah, that does sound nice. Excuse me. Excuse yeah, me. And, and it's nice too because I didn't want to get a place a pay for it all by myself and b be like, hey, this is kind of like a sub pixel place, and then everyone's like, ah. Uh, versus now that I have a better, yeah. it's like half sub pixel, and the other reason is I just need a space for like a place to go and like put stuff. Also, yeah. it's at my workplace for now, so like I can just stay late and. No. That's true. I think for me. The thing I've hit up against is, you know, my parents have a workshop. I can do all my car work there and everything, but I'm just too lazy. Yeah. So I'll really only go there like once every two weeks or when I like have a project that needs to be done. Whereas I know that if I have stuff close to me, I'll work on it every other day or even just leave it out and do a little like five minutes of work, you know, every couple I'm hours. I'm kind of hoping this helps purge my laziness by yeah. forcing me to go do stuff there. Yeah, and I think for you, you don't really have another option because your place is so small that you can't yeah. do a lot of the stuff you want to do. Whereas for me, I can just kind of, I can I can begrudgingly do it in the apartment. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's just why that setup wouldn't work for me in particular. Burner, burner, burner. Um, so I, I, sorry to wrap it up, but I think that's just like the PS5 Xbox Series X news. Yeah. I mean, was there anything else? Big takeaways from that press conference? I'm trying to think of other stuff. I think it's, I think for me, it's that 
PS5 is making an actually safe bet on underpricing the digital version because there is no way that that disk drive is $100 in production costs. No way. Yeah. Um, do you, do you and they're, think they're those prices were their, their plan the whole time? No. Or do you think they saw I think, Microsoft? I think 450 was their plan. Well, no, I don't want to say that because there were some tweets going around talking about how these were their price targets since the beginning of the year. But I could very easily see them, if the Series S didn't come out, I could see them going, we can make 450 work for the Series S. You know, if it was Series X 500 and that's it, then I could see them very easily saying 450. I did I digital. did see someone make a good point and in, in favor of Sony is that the Sony digital and the Sony regular are the same console, just disk drive, no disk drive, versus the X yes. and S are very different consoles. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah, because that's the other thing that came out over the last couple of weeks was that the Series S, um, it's basically going to be running the one S spec of Xbox One and backwards compatible titles, but trying to run them at 1440p as opposed to 1080p. Um, it's still going to offer ray tracing where available. Developers have the option to turn it off or on, depending on performance. It's still going to try and hit 60 to 120 FPS. It's still going to try and hit, you know, HDR, etc., which is better than the 1S, but it's it's really just a 1S plus and not... It's a 1S plus with next-gen features. And that's... Uh, you know, I was afraid that's what it was going to be because I was looking at what they were saying, 1440p, and I was like, the One X is 4K native. So, um, I think that's an interesting question, though, is would you take the Series S for 300 or the PS5 digital for 400? I'd take the PS5 digital for 400, Alex. Yeah. Yeah, I think I would, too. Because PS5 digital is a full-blown next-gen console. The Series S feels like a stopgap. And, you know, if if Microsoft is truly moving into that... What? Or did you shrink? I, I was disguised. I was much taller when I was disguised. Oh. The, um... If Microsoft is really doing the iPhone model of where they're just going to move into regular updates from now on, they're going to have to, at some point, reach back a couple models and say, we're not supporting this model anymore, and it's not going to run the latest games. And the yeah. Series S is just not... It's going to be... It's its already on the chopping block, as far as I'm concerned. You know? Yeah. Oh, hey. Want to become famous? <gasps> we can become famous? I think this is the same one. Uh... Just solo port, if you subscribe to us, maybe we'll visit your website. Maybe. This is the same website. I will visit the website, guaranteed. Um, yeah, okay. whereas the PS5 Digital... It's, I mean, yeah, 400, you're basically getting the exact same next-gen console for $100 less. And if you're scrapped for money if you're looking at the series s well okay let me put it this way i think if you have an xbox one or maybe even an xbox one s then you could sh then the xbox series s is a good upgrade or if you don't have an xbox at all then the xbox series s is a good purchase but if you have an xbox one x then you should not get the xbox series s does that make sense? Yes. I don't know what you said, but I'm just agreeing with you. I basically said the only people who should buy an Xbox Series S is if you have a launch Xbox One or you don't have an Xbox at all. Yeah. Um, Unless you want the world's most powerful console. Yeah, yeah. But I just mean... You should not be going from a 1X to a Series S. That does not make sense. No. Because no, no. at, at that point, you're getting a downgrade, and the only thing you're getting out of it are the eventual series, Xbox Series exclusives and the like fast architecture. 
which is but I mean that's it's basically an equal trait for the for the downgrading graphics from the one X. PS5. Okay. Who should buy the PS5 digital? I'm just trying to think of anyone that doesn't already have a PS4 library. Physical library. Yeah, but but Okay, but let's say let's say I'm a kid. I have $400 to buy next gen console. And I don't have a PS4, and I don't have an Xbox One. What do you get? The Series S or the PlayStation or the, the digital PS5? Series S because Game Pass. Again. Yeah, that's a good kid point. has yeah, so that, many games out the gate. Yeah, because that's, that's the thing is that it's like, I, I, think the, I think the PS5 digital by itself is a better bargain. It's a better value than the Series mm -hmm. S. But how are you getting games on it? You have to pay sixty dollars for them. Mm -hmm. How are you getting games on the Series S? You pay, what is it, ten dollars a month for Game Pass? Or no, Game Pass is five dollars a month. It's fifteen for Ultimate. But I'm saying if you're penny pension, you yeah. can get away with five dollars a month. No, I think it is ten. I'm gonna look it up. Because I, I think it's ten for. Let's see. Versus to even get access to some free games. You have to pay fifteen on the plus an extra hundred dollars for the S or for the PS5 digital. Yeah. Because at that point you're basically comparing the PlayStation Plus collection to the Game Pass. Okay, here we go. Ugh, okay, wait, okay, give me a second. I'm trying to... <laughs> Level up again. Oh, it is It is $10 a month. So it's $10 for Xbox Game Pass. It's $10 for PC Game Pass. It's $5 for gold, or you can get all three for $15 a month. So let's assume you're paying 15 or let's say 10 Yeah, I, that, that's why I'm looking at the PlayStation 5 Digital. And it's weird. It's it's priced like a bargain. But I think the only people who are going to buy that are diehard PlayStation fans who have to have a PS5, but they can't afford the $500 one. Or PlayStation diehard PlayStation fans that have already gone all digital. Like, it's priced as a bargain, but it doesn't make sense to buy it as a bargain because it's not really. Whereas oh, the Series God. S. Wow. I learned flight. I learned hover. That's that's awesome. Sorry, yeah, whereas the series the series I'm I'm just saying like both of them are priced like a bargain. They're kinda like, hey, if you're a bargain shopper, this is the better deal for you. But in reality, only the Series S is a better deal for you. The digital is not the digital is only a better deal when you compare it to the base ps5 and only buy that initial hundred dollars but i guarantee you over the life of that console you're going to lose more than a hundred dollars buying digital only out of the sony marketplace yeah our sweet boy is so cute i'm just so excited by this next gen stuff man Woo. I wish we did dumb thumbnails because this would be the dumb thumbnail. <sighs> yeah, I, I'm very excited. I'm excited for it's. There's never been a better time to be playing video games, as one Vinny Caravella has always said. I don't know when I'm gonna buy a PS5 though. I think I, I think I agree with you in that I'm gonna buy a PS5 when the exclusives are there enough, and and maybe when the price comes down a little bit, and I'll buy the the full version. Death Stranding But at the same too. time, it's not there. I I don't see in no, two or three years it. worth of games. That there's a Sony exclusive title, enough Sony exclusive titles for me to hop in. Because I don't really like the exclusive titles. Uncharted, Last of Us, God of War. Uh, what are some of their other exclusive titles running around? Final Fantasy now? I don't really like them. I've given them all a shot. I don't really like them. Yeah. And Final Fantasy probably eventually be on Xbox anyways. Or P and PC. I, 
I don't know. I think the 16, the way they said it was, it was a, I think it was a flat. It was either console exclusive or flat exclusive. Yeah, but I'm saying eventually. I don't know, man. It's a PlayStation console exclusive. Oh no, sorry. They retracted the PC announcement. It is PS5 only. So, so I see what you're saying, but at the same time, I could just as easily see them as having gone to them like they did with Persona and saying, this is, this is an exclusive for the PS5. And maybe six, seven, eight years down the road. Yeah. But not in any time. When I'm interested in Final Fantasy. Oh, boy. Uh, well, is that it? That's the tale of, of uh, Thick Zor. Man, he's he's a pretty boy. I'm into it. He is really good looking. I like him, folks. This, this game looked was, good. It was fun. I, I genuinely enjoyed it. City of Heroes by good old what was it? Cryptic. Um, yeah, it was fun. Yes, this might be the first one that I'm not going to play it afterwards, but I, I did genuinely enjoy playing it. And look, I can this... hover now. So cool. I think this is the first time you said I'm not going to play this game. Well, that's not fair. But I would say about half the time you're like, I'm going to keep playing this game. Yeah, I, I, I well, half the time I say I would keep playing this game if I, if like I had the yeah. time. Um, versus the same as like I, I would keep playing the game if I enjoyed it. Got it. Exactly. Exactly. See, I like I just like bad video. Oh, I didn't realize the cape had a skull on it. It was even better, <laughs> folks. Thank you for watching. This has been another episode of Server Quest. We will be back with Server Quest next week with Rhizome, I believe is the name of it. I don't even know anything about it, which is exciting and tantalizing. Wow, crazy. Um, on the on tomorrow, you might be streaming? Yes, so Super Mario 3D All-Stars comes out tomorrow. I bought a physical copy. I It should be delivered tomorrow, according to Amazon, but I don't know if it actually will be delivered. So if it's delivered tomorrow, I will stream stream it and you can find that out by following us on twitch or subscribing and also following us on twitter at subpixel team and i'll let you guys know there if i'm going to stream it or not awesome uh i am wow it just like nuked that that's good i am uh and then sunday 1 p.m eastern we'll be streaming some dungeons and dragons from water mm -hmm. deep heist i need to do my prep work for that which i'm very excited about Mm -hmm. Should be a good time. And then next Tuesday, some Star Citizen folks. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. Can I ask oh. you a question real quick? I mean, I yeah. know you've played it a handful of times. Is it good? No. I mean, the, Damn it. while you're playing it, you're like, man, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be so cool. I could play this for years. And then when it's over, you're just like, meh, I'll play something else. Oh, oh okay. Gotcha. Like if it's ever fully realized, um, it could be there. Yeah, but I don't think it'll ever be. What is? All... Okay. Oh, it's displaying the rest of your video. That's what it is. The rest of the puppy. I was trying to figure it out. Oh, <laughs> I get it now. Yeah. Folks, thank you for tuning in. Uh, Subpixelfilms.com. That'll bring you straight to our YouTube channel where you can check out. All of our recordings, our archives, and weekly videos that you will enjoy. I guarantee it. Until then, I have been at Hunt270 on Twitter. That has been at Think Gibson on Twitter. And we love you. Good night. <laughs>